Marriott investigates scene two, take one. Which animation series will soon be broadcast on a TV near you? Some of the answers could be found here at the Cartoon Forum in the southern French city of Toulouse, where more than 800 professionals from the animation industry met to seek cross-border partnerships and funding. The forum has helped 500 projects take off since 1990. This year, 68 European projects were pitched. We get about a hundred projects. A committee then makes a selection based on the project's maturity and its market potential. The Cartoon Forum is all about business, and here's how it works. Give us a story! 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 Get it! Trailers of the selected TV series are shown in the morning and over lunch. The projects are then presented in more detail in the afternoon. So this is where it happens. What kind of audience are they targeting? What's the storyboard? Who are the characters? What does the graphic design look like? How much money do they need to complete the project? And what do the producers expect from their future partners? Wow, George! Oh, look! After the presentation, those who are interested can make contact with the producers here in the Extra Time Corner and swap business cards. One of the TV animation series that attracted most interest this year was the story of three little ninjas who provide an unusual kind of delivery service. With a graphic design reminiscent of the popular Angry Birds video game, it's a Dutch-Belgian collaboration. So what are the creators of the ninjas looking for at the Cartoon Forum? We're still looking for uh, fi financing, so uh, the budget, and uh, we're also looking for uh, co-producers, distributors, broadcasters who are interested in the story and uh, the project. Looking for everything at this point. Yeah. Meet the Pugs is a wacky cartoon comedy show set in Barcelona. It's all about the adventures of a group of human-like dogs who are just like us, only funnier. The project's creators are two Germans who live in the Spanish city. When we started to draw the characters, we thought it would be funny to create cartoon versions of our own friends. Lulu, say something, Lulu! And then much later we thought, why not make a TV series for the Cartoon Forum? This Franco-Canadian project is the very definition of a cross-border concept. Conceived for TV, internet, tablets and video games, it's the story of life in a big city where sex has been prohibited because of a deadly genetic virus. Girls and boys grow up in rival gangs separated by hate and anger. The project's creators are working with clothes designers, musicians and choreographers to try and create maximum buzz. So were they pleased with the feedback? I am very happy. I'm a happy man. <laughs> I think there comes a time when you go beyond the world of animation. Your product becomes a brand in itself, a world of its own. And I hope it'll continue growing and appealing to a wide audience. It's morning on Puffin Rock and it's a glorious day. Frogs are frolicking. Among the projects which took off this year is Puffin Rock, which was sold to US TV network Nickelodeon and Irish National TV. The team behind it is Oscar-nominated animation studio Cartoon Saloon and media company Dog Ears. The Penguin Publishing Company also got on board, turning the TV series into a book. This mixed animation series, based on an original concept by Francis Vivement Lundi, attracted the largest public ever for a Cartoon Forum project. I think there are a lot of great projects targeting a very wide audience, from preschool to teenagers and also older people. There are a lot of good animation projects for adults. I think there's a remarkable choice of projects this year.